Welcome to this YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna look at two Google Sheet functions called Choose Column and Choose Rows. So what do these functions do and how do we use it? And later on, I'm also going to combine it with a more advanced function and see how it works. So first of all, let's jump into it and let's understand what the Choose row function is, what are the arguments, and what it does. So you give it an array of data, that's the first argument, and you give it the rows that you want to be returned, and it will do exactly that. So get into this example, I just say choose rows. This is my array, comma, if I want row one, I just say one, close brackets, student grade. If I want row two, you do that, you see Harry 95. So if I want row one, row two, if I want row one, row two, row three, there you go. You can do that. So row one will be this, row two is this, row three is that. And all that is based on this range. So you give it an array and the column that you want to return. And you also can repeat rows. For example, I can say repeat three, repeat three, press enter. You can see row three is repeated right here. Now that is how we do that. You can also say if I have my choose rows function, and this is my array again. You can say, I want the last row. So if you want the last row, you say minus one. There you go. And we get Peter as the last row. If you want the second last row, number two, you get the idea right there. If you want to the last, last row first, minus one, minus two, close your brackets. There you go. If you want to repeat the last row, you can say minus one, comma, minus one. And there you go. You see the last row repeated. So in brief, this is what the choose rows function does. It's also choose columns, whereas the choose row goes per row. The choose column follows the column. So I say, Array is the first argument, comma. If I want the first column, I put one, and there you go. If I want the second column, just put two, there you go. If I want the first and the second column, I say one, column two, and there you go, you get two. So if I want them reversed, maybe two first, then one second, you can also do that. So you can have data arranged in a different way and you want to change the columns using a function. This way you can also achieve that. You can also go and say, I want the last column. There you go, this is the last column. I want the second last column, which will be this one here. If you want to repeat a column, you can say two, 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 and there you go, you get the column repeated. So this is the choose column function. Now in this other example, what I've done, I've created a drop down here, then it goes into this data set right here and it picks the value that I want and populates it here. So I want to demonstrate how to achieve this. So I'm going to say, comma, choose rows. And in this example, I'm showing you how to combine the choose rows with another function, which is the match function. So my data set, the first argument is a data set. The second argument is the row that I want to return. So if I want the first row, I would put one, do like so, and you get the first row. 
as I've shown you. Now, I don't want to hard code the one. Then if I want triple one, I come back, I put two. I want it to be run by a drop down right here. That means I need to get the number of the row. And to get the number of the row, I have another Google Sheet function called the match function, which takes the key. The key will be whatever is in selected in my drop down here. Then I say comma, I select it, this key, check it on the against this range. I want an exact match. I close my match function. I close my choose row function. So when I do that, because 114 relates to an, which is here, is populated in here. I can come here and say, give me 115. There you go. Give me the first one. There you go. And you can also use it to search a value and return a number of values. So this is how the choose row function and the choose column function can be used in Google Sheets. If this video has been helpful, please like it. Give me your comments. See you in the next video. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe and have a great day.